number five then from the 2019 Higher Maths Paper 1. Another little format question here. Collinearity. Do these points lie in a straight line? Show that these points are collinear, that they lie in a straight line. There's also a second part. State the ratio in which B divides AC. So these three points are meant to lie in a straight line. You can see where B is anyway. 1 to 4 is 3 steps. 4 to 8 is 4 steps. So B has 3 steps there, 4 steps there. I didn't ask for that. That's actually the answer to part B straight away. But let's just forget that for the moment. Now, the way you show it is to find the vector AB. The vector BC. And to show that these vectors are either multiples of a common vector, or really show that one is a multiple of the other, meaning that they're parallel and then joined at B. Well, that's going to be B minus A. Now, it's possible just to look at the numbers and put the answer down straight away, but I'll plod through it. 4, negative 1, 0, and A is 1, 5, negative 3. So going from A to B is 3, negative 6, 3. B to C, that will be C minus B in terms of the position vectors, the vectors locating the points from the origin. C, 8, negative 9, 4. B, 4, negative 1, 0. So how do you get from B to C? 8 take away 4 is 4 steps forward. Negative 9 plus 1, that's minus 8, negative 8 really. 4 take away 0. 4. Now you've got a couple of options. You can either then reduce them by taking out the multiples to the same basic vector. That'll be 3 of something and that'll be 4 of something. Or you could just make the statement which I'm going to make here that AB is equal to 3 quarters of BC. I know that because they all divide that way. 3 over 4 is the same as negative 6 over negative 8, is the same as 3 upon 4 again. They're all the same, so it is that multiple of it, and then you just have to make all the statements. If AB is a multiple of BC, that means that AB is parallel to BC. Not enough to make it collinear. You can have two parallel lines that aren't actually joined. They need a common point. Shouldn't say that. Since B is a common point, finally, that means A, B, and C are collinear. There we go. Now, for part B, state the ratio in which B divides AC. Well, I don't want to rub all I'll just put it here. What's the ratio that a, B, a divides BC? In other words, what's the ratio of AB to BC? don't think you actually need to do that. You just need to put the numbers down. Well, there it's there. 3 to 4. All of these should give the same steps. 3 steps, 4 steps.